Okay, Danya, that I was so disturbed when I heard this report today about a Texas woman. Her name is uh, Tiffany Gish. She's been charged with threatening to kill Judge Eileen Cannon. And that's the judge. Everybody should remember there are lots of judges in these cases, but that's the judge that agreed uh, to the special master. That's not the judge that agreed to the warrant in Florida to the search. That's a, that's a male. Uh, but this woman is 41 years old. Uh, she was appointed to the judge by Donald Trump. And this woman called and said on her voicemail, quote, Trump is marked for assassination and so are you. And she threatened to kill her children, uh, kill her in front of her, her children and her family. I mean, I don't think we need to have a discussion about how wrong that is, but I am curious about how wrong it is in terms of what does that net you behind bars? It's extremely disturbing, of course. Everyone can agree to that. And it is appropriately taken very seriously by the Justice Department. The criminal complaint charges uh, two statutes, and um, one of them is interstate transmission of threats that carries serious penalties. I've prosecuted and defended cases um, under that statute. And the other one, threatening a federal official, specifically a federal judge, uh, can carry a penalty of up to 10 years. So these are these are serious um, criminal statutes carrying serious penalties. And, and DOJ is, of course, taking it as seriously as, as it deserves. And there has been an uptick in, in both actual violence and threatened violence against judges across the country. Um, there, there was a federal judge who, um, who, whose child was shot in, in her home not very long ago. And a lot of the rhetoric, um, you know, has, has just gotten so heated and uh, people, you know, are motivated, unfortunately, and, you know, both sides of, of any discussion are you're motivated to, to, to do these, um, frankly, crazy and very disturbing things, as you point out. And, um, they are taken seriously, and, and uh, this one certainly appears to be as well. Yeah, well, I mean, one other judge I recall covering not too long ago whose um, front door uh, had a knock, and uh, her husband answered the door, and her husband and son were shot um, and killed. I mean, it's it's just abhorrent. And, you know, I, David, I can see you nodding. We are all in agreement that it is appalling how people have lashed out from both sides at the judiciary or our institutions as though when you don't like the decision, it's somehow their fault. I see it in courtrooms every day. Justice is served, right, David? It just doesn't always go the way of one half of the courtroom. That's right. But that's why I say, you know, also, there's no justifying any of this. If I were to show you my emails from the Trump impeachment trial, you would be shocked at them. What pe how people wanted to kill me, what manner, how it should have happened in the Holocaust, et cetera, et cetera. So the level of discourse is just abhorrent on all levels. But this is also why the processes have to be fair. You're never going to get uh, you're never going to bring along the folks who are really inclined to make threats and that kind of thing. But the heartland of America has to come together and we have to have fair processes with the composition of panels, investigative panels and otherwise fairly picked. Yeah, I don't know how we got this way. And I just can I just reach out to you personally and say I am so sorry that <laughs> that's happened to you. And you are not the first lawyer nor judge that I've had to say that to in criminal cases or in political cases alike. Um, my apologies from the rest of America who is sane um, to you for having to endure that. We're on your side and we love that you do the work you do. Uh, I think it's God's work. Anybody who gets in the legal profession, I believe that it's God's work. So thank you both. Really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.